Hello everyone, and welcome to the morning devotions at the Garden of Hope. It's a nice day, it feels good out here, a little bit cooler. Patricia Anderson has been sick all week, pray she feels better. Uh, David's mother, Hennia, still has bad arthritis and is getting dizzy. Um, Karina's stepmother had her uh, funeral yesterday, I believe it was, so pray for the family. Paisy Rose's husband still out of work. Pray he finds a job. Tweets prayers for God's favor. She's having trouble with a mattress store. Joy Stewart, pray for rain in Oregon. They need it. Wildfires in August could be a problem. Robin Rare was in an accident and is in the hospital. They're doing tests on her. And Logan has an MRI Wednesday the 31st to see if he has a torn ligament. Bible reading today comes from Isaiah 58, 6 through 12. Is this not the land of fasting I have chosen to lose the chains of injustice and to untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? It is not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter. When you see the naked, to clothe them and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood, then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and he will say, Here am I. If you do away with the yoke of oppression and the pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spend yourselves on behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness, and your night will become like the noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and he will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose water ne waters never fail. Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. Our devotions today are entitled Unselfish Service. A small collection of people stood together, dwarfed by the size of the huge tree lying on the lawn. An elderly woman leaned on her cane and described watching the previous night's windstorm as it blew down our majestic old elm tree. Worst of all, she continued, voice cracking with emotion, it destroyed our lovely stone wall too. My husband built that wall when we were first married. He loved that wall. I loved that wall. Now it's gone, just like him. Next morning, as she peeked out at the tree company workers cleaning up the downed tree, a big smile spread across her face. In between the branches, she could just make out two adults and the boy who mowed her lawn, carefully measuring and rebuilding her beloved stone wall. The prophet Isaiah describes the kind of service God favors, acts that lift the heart of those around us, like the wall repairs did for the elderly woman. This passage teaches that God's values unselfish service to others over empty spiritual rituals. In fact, God exercises a two-way blessing on the selfless service of his children. First, God uses our willing acts of service to aid the oppressed and needy. Then God offers those who engage in such service by building or rebuilding our reputations as powerful, positive forces in His kingdom. What service will you offer this day? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. You know all their needs, Lord, and please help each and every one of them. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope y'all enjoyed this morning's devotions at the Garden of Hope. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.